Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the Clo 3D AI feature to create a background for your render images. In my previous tutorial, I have shown you different ways to add a scene to enhance your design. Whether you're creating a custom scene from scratch or downloading an HDRI file for use as a background, these methods can elevate your presentation. However, if you're looking for a quicker and more efficient way to add a background to your rendered images for a presentation, the new AI background tool is a game changer. In the 3D window, I have uploaded a dress design and changed the avatar's pose. Before adding a background, the first step is to render the image. Go to Top Window Toolbar and open the Render window. Select the image size and enable transparency for the background. Next, I will choose a preset lighting option for the design and adjust the lighting angles and colors. Finally, I will adjust the image quality settings. If your computer has a GPU, be sure to select it for faster and higher quality rendering. Once all the settings are configured, I'll begin rendering the image. Now that the image rendering is complete, Clo will automatically save the rendered image. If it does not, be sure to save it manually. Go to Render Window Toolbar and select AI Studio. If you have watched my previous tutorials, you may remember that I've mentioned the AI Studio feature. It allows you to replace the avatar's face and transform the avatar to resemble a realistic human model. In the latest version of Clo 3D, a new background generation feature has also been added. In the Target Image window, click Upload to bring in the saved render image. The process is similar to the face swapping function. Start by typing a prompt, just as you would when using any AI application. If you're unsure what to type, you can click the file icon and choose from the preset keyword suggestions. For example, I'll select Backdrop Studio and click Generate. Once the image is created, Click Generate again from the lower window to apply the background to your image. This may take a few minutes to process. The AI-generated background will appear on the right side of the output window. It came out pretty good, but it doesn't quite match the vibe I want for this dress design. So I'll try different keyword suggestions until I find one that fits better. If you're satisfied with the final image, click Save to download it. By the way, all AI-generated background images are temporarily stored in history, so you can go back, select a previous version, and regenerate if needed. If none of the suggested keywords appeal to you, you can enter your own text prompt to see what kind of background images the AI generates.
like most AI-generated content, the results can be hit or miss. Sometimes you'll get a great image on the first try, while other times it may take several attempts to achieve the look you want. After trying a few prompts myself, I still didn't find one that fit the design. As a third option, you can upload your own reference image. To do this, click image at the top of the window, then upload your photo and click generate. The result was decent, but in this case, the avatar appeared to be standing on a pond. So I'll keep clicking generate until I get a version that works better. And here is the final render image with background. To take your image to the next level, you can enhance it using Creer AI. I've mentioned this platform in a previous video, and as of now, it still offers a free version that allows you to enhance your photos using AI. Once you sign up and log into Creer AI, select the Enhance feature. Upload your rendered image. On the right side of the window, you'll find the Adjustable Settings panel. Since it's a free version, there's a resolution limit. You can either type your own prompt to describe the image or click describe to let the AI generate an automatic prompt. Adjust the AI strength and resemblance percentage to your preference. For this example, I'm setting clarity to 100% and leaving sharpness at its default. However, feel free to modify the settings to best suit your design and personal style. When all the settings are done, click Enhance and wait for the result to process. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the original and the enhanced image. If no further changes, you can proceed to download the image. That concludes today's tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and inspiring. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next tutorial video.